the fishing guys have salt life and the, the surfing guys have umpteen brands yeah, that, right. they, that they can go with. Um, there's nothing for the golf cart people. And we really wanted to bring something like that to the forefront and offer it for people who love the golf cart lifestyle. And that's Hey everybody. And welcome to golf cart TV. Uh, my name is Matt white. I'm with obviously golf cart TV and also converted carts. And today is a little bit different day. A lot of times what we do here on the show is focus on really cool builds and creative and fun and, you know, kind of over the top golf cart builds. Today, we got something a little bit more exciting and uh, a little bit different than, like I said, that we usually do. Got a couple of guys down in Boca Raton, Florida, and they are doing something pretty cool. So I'm going to bring in uh, the fellows here. Um, welcome, guys. This is Mike hey. and Joe from Cart Life TV. Um, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and just kind of give a little background to what's going on here. What the heck is Cart Life TV? Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name's Mike. Uh, this is Joe. And uh, we are the founders of the Cart Life lifestyle brand and Cart Life TV. It is an outlet for anybody interested in the golf cart lifestyle. And we just want to push the limits and have a way to kind of give the Cart Life and the Cart community something else besides just putting on lift kits and putting on rims and driving around. We're actually going to push the limits of the golf cart and see how far we could drive this thing and, and build the golf cart specifically for that. I guess the cart and, and have fun doing it. Yeah. And have fun. Sure. Doing it. Yep, that, 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 yeah. that is the main thing. And we have fun every day doing this. You know, the, the, the lifestyle brand is, is cool. There's a lifestyle brand basically for everything out there. And there wasn't one specifically for golf carts, right? So the fishing guys have salt life and, the surfing guys have umpteen brands yeah, that, they, right. <laughs> that they can go with. Um, there's nothing for the golf cart people. And we really wanted to bring something like that to the forefront and offer it for people who love the golf cart lifestyle. And that's kind of what we're doing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And it's really cool. And so the way we connected was through YouTube ourselves, right? So you guys right, have yeah, a channel, yeah. cart, Li uh, cart life TV. We obviously have golf cart TV through the converted carts channel and kind of cross paths and started liking each other's videos. And, uh, as you talked about, you know, Joe, you just talked about having fun. Certainly, uh, yes. it comes across that way in your in your videos and stuff. So it's cool. I think what you guys have been doing. So I'll, I'll plug you already. Go check out Cart Life TV on YouTube. It's a it's a great uh, great show. Um, so tell me a little bit about so so kind of the kickoff, if you will, or the launch of uh, the Cart Life brand and Cart Life TV in general. Is you're you're doing something pretty big, something pretty exciting. So why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, what that is? Um, so the plan is to take the cart behind us, which we'll show you around it later, um, from Boca Raton to Key West, Florida. We want to be the southernmost golf cart. Yep. <laughs> everyone knows Everyone knows Key West is the southernmost point of the United States. There's We're nowhere farther south. And um, I don't think anyone's ever driven a club cart DS or any golf cart for that matter. 225 miles down the road and we're going to go for it. You know, we've had to do a lot of things to kind of get it ready. And we're really, we're really close. We're at the point now where we're going to take a test run to Palm Beach Island, which is um, 25 miles north of here and back. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow night we'll be doing that. Oh, really? That's right. Awesome. But yeah. We're going to document the whole thing and, and make sure it's on, uh, on YouTube for all our subscribers to, to, to watch and follow. And, well, maybe we'll make it. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll, we'll learn a big lesson. I don't Learning know. Learning experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's cool. But yeah. <laughs> So when this comes out, this will that event will probably have happened. So we'll have right. to do a maybe in between times. I can grab some footage or something, and I can I can show maybe a little bit of update uh, sure. as we're yeah. chatting here about what you did on that test trip. Uh, hopefully, all good, like you said. Um, <laughs> so what what gave you the idea? Like what I know you said, kind of the, on the brand side. Um, obviously, there's I agree. There's not something out there that does you know. There's all individual brands, Easy Go and Club Car and Mad Jacks and things like that. But um, the, the Salt Life is, was one certainly that jumps out. Uh, right. But beyond that, what what drove you to the Key West idea? How'd that come about? We have we have a lot of friends down in Key West, and there's a, a guy up here who owns a local restaurant that we're also friends with, and he really said you can't do it. And... <laughs> You know, when someone says you can't do something, it really makes you want to do it even more. And we, we just thought that would be a great way and a, a great way to kick off the uh, 
kick off this channel and this, this experience for all our YouTube friends um, to actually do something completely outlandish and a little bit crazy. Um, there are some treacherous roads getting down there. You know, when you think of Boca Raton and Florida, we have A1A that runs north, south, up the coast. But once you get down to Miami, you got to do some maneuvering to get to where the keys begin. And um, he doesn't think we could do it. We've been looking at the map, and we think there's a way. There's definitely a way. Then we're gonna give it a shot. It, you know, once awesome. you get down to the keys, it's it's basically well, it's not basically. It's one road down. Right. So, right. Yeah, and it's it's not the best of roads. Sorry, we got we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're on the intercoastal yeah, here. I know, rough life. Yeah. That's that's it right there. That's Florida life. You got the you got to deal with rough life life. you're living. Yeah. (laughs) Well, one of the things we talked about, I don't don't know if we'll be able to do it, but I'd love to do a kind of a check in. So again, this will this will air a couple weeks from the day that we're we're actually recording it. But um, when you do your trip, I'd love to be able to do something live. We kind of talked about that, so that'd be kind of fun. Um, So obviously, to to make this trip uh, down south and to go that far. Uh, requires a little bit of uh, effort on the cart itself. So tell us a little bit about, uh, you mentioned you've got, it's a club cart DS, what year? It's gas, (laughs) I think you said. And so tell us a little bit about the cart and then maybe some of the things you've done and some of the things you plan on doing with the cart to make it uh, Key West worthy. Sure, well, it's a, first of all, it's a 2007 club cart DS with the Kawasaki FE290 motor, right? Which is pretty much bulletproof, everybody knows about it and everybody knows the club car DS, especially the golf cart people has to be like this bulletproof unicorn of a golf cart, um, aluminum frame, uh, you know, very well built, very, very reliable motor. That's what's in this golf cart. It's the original motor. Nothing's been done to it other than, you know, tune ups every umpteen miles or, or hours or whatever. Um, it's an old cart. I bought this cart in 2010 when I worked at the university. It was my work cart there. It's since been uh, surplus. I was able to acquire it. Um, and we've just kind of been working on it since then for like about the past year. Uh, built it up to where it is now. And towed it, actually towed it home from the university. Yeah, we towed it home from the university <laughs> behind Joe's truck. Um, but yeah, you know, when we when we had the idea to drive it to Key West, we, we kind of went around it and, and really looked at all the weak spots in it and you know, the th- thought about the things we would need and things we would need to take with us on, on a trip for 225 miles. You know, when you're in a car, you kind of have this enclosed, like, comfort bubble that you're in. And you kind of forget that, you know, everything is going on outside of you. But when you're in a golf cart, you're exposed to that. You're exposed to the elements. You're exposed to the heat. You're exposed to the the, the, the stuff that comes up on the road and the, and the unknowns, of course. Um, so we went around the golf cart and we, we, we tried to figure out what those things were and, and really tried to build up on them. Like we know that we can only hold like six gallons of gas, right? And we know that a golf cart that's been modified with bigger wheels and has a lot of weight put on it, like a flip seat, and we're going to be bringing a cooler and extra gas with us needs, <laughs> you know, doesn't get the same kind of gas mileage as a stock club cart would get. And, you know, I went through the original paperwork of the golf cart. And, you know, I, I have all the statistics. I know that this car stock goes 14 miles per hour. You printed out the whole manual. I printed out the whole manual. I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a statistics guy. I'm, a statistics I'm just guy. the one that's like nothing to it but to do it. He's the one that got yeah. up on everything. Joe, just, wanted, right, Joe right. just wants to get in and send it. But I'm I, ready to go. You're ready to get in now. Yeah, get in the car. Let's start. I want to be well informed. The club car says that this golf cart stock, at 14 miles an hour, it gets between 20 and 30 miles per gallon, right? That's like a 10 mile difference. And I guess they base that on the type of golf course that it's on. Like, is it on Florida course that's all flat? It's going to get 30 miles. Is it in Ohio? It's going to have hills or whatever. You know, maybe it'll get 20. This one's got the Mad Jacks 15 inch wheels and the Nomad tires. It's got the Mad Jack seat. We got a Yeti cooler, what, 45 quart? Yeah. It's going to be filled with ice. We're going to be taking. Uh, extra fuel with us we have the safety kit with tools and supplies in case we need to work on the cart we're gonna need to bring like personal things like an extra set of clothes and shoes and, yeah we're not gonna have any runners it's just us it's just us we're not you know no support vehicles no camera no, cars it's, it's, it's i was just, just gonna us. ask that yeah okay. yeah it's just yeah. us with our equipment and our gopros we and... may send the wives down ahead of us <laughs> But they're not going to hopefully make it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's so great. you know, we, we we went around the cart. We added um, we added light bar. We added some uh, blinker mirrors that indicators. We built the Mad Jacks trailer cooler carrier um, with some additional lights. We put a whip light on the back of it. Uh, we have a safety flag. We did put a safety kit together, so we do have the things we might need if something happens, like or we we lose a tire or 
or, um, you know, we, we have to fix a micro switch or something or throw a belt, you know, we'll have those things with us that we could fix on the fly. Um, yeah, and I've seen you did some good video stuff around that, which is yeah. kind of, you know, this most recent one I know talking about the the things that you're carrying on and, you know, kind of thinking through, which is brilliant. A lot of those things, you know, even again, not, I don't want to jinx, but just ideas of bringing a tow, uh, a tow yeah. line, you know, uh, just yeah, like, yeah. Listen, just thinking about there, it. Yeah. There's a seven mile bridge. Yeah, I was going to say the one bridge <laughs> we got to go over is seven miles long. There's nothing on either side of it, but water, <laughs> right? There's nothing in front of it or behind it except for two islands. Um, so if we do get stuck on the bridge, we're going to need to get off it somehow. I'm not pushing it. We're going to have to hope that, <laughs> you know, some, uh, some local, uh, you know, or somebody passing through the bridge sees us and helps us. But somebody's God, kind, willing, yeah. God willing, we won't have to worry about that. But I have been taught growing up to be prepared because, you know, I, I've been around the block. So is Joe. Yeah, you don't want to sure. get stuck with your pants down, as they say. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Prepare for the, you know, what is it? Expect the best, prepare for the worst, something like that. That's right. That's right. You know, we have a fire extinguisher, we're going to have a first aid kit, all those things, you know, just, you know, you get cut, you're not going to want to sit there with the towel on your hand for, you know, for right. 10 hours, to get, you know, in, in the heat. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We'll bring plenty of water, plenty of drinks, we, you know, it's not like we're going to be in the middle of nowhere. It is, there, there's yeah, going to be stores and gas stations and, and, stations and, and so. things. So we're going to, we're going to make some stops around the way, make it interesting. There's a lot of really cool places. Um, that that we're going to pass and we're going to stop and the document views are going to be amazing from the golf. Yeah. 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 I can imagine. Yeah. The footage. Yeah. The videos you guys will be able to get. So I expect that will turn into future content and that kind of stuff through the channel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We got, uh, we got friends that own breweries. we got friends that own restaurants down in the keys. So we're going to stop there, you know, catch up, document it and, and keep going. And we hope to, you know, we're going to leave in the morning at, at sunrise and hopefully get down there at sunset, which is probably one of the most beautiful sunsets in the world is, is yeah, at the is. southernmost point in Key West. I can't wait to get down there, be the southernmost golf cart, take that picture with the cart at the buoy and you 90 know. miles yeah. to Cuba. Right? Yeah, that's, the 90 miles. The, that's the right. goal right there. <laughs> so do you think, so you, you think, you think you'll make it one day? What's how, how many, I know you, you mentioned the mileage and stuff like that, but how many, how long do you, are you expecting? By car, it's about four, four and a half, five. So maybe 10. 12 10 or 12 yeah 10 or 12 we figure if we leave you know we got to do it before uh daylight savings of course you know we don't want to we don't yeah. we don't want to be driving to, in the dark yeah we're yeah. trying to we could avoid it maybe yeah, in the morning in the dark will be fine before cars are on the road but i, I don't want to be doing the bridge in the dark um that's Definitely. for sure even though we have the lighted whip and we have some extra lights and things it's we want to be seen you know safety first we'll be sure. okay if we have to but we would like to avoid that for sure right okay got it well, do you want to walk us around the cart and just and maybe show yeah. us a few of the things that you guys have done? Obviously, they can check out your YouTube channel and things like that to get all the details. But um, yeah. if we could do Heart a quick, quick walk we've around. Been doing it. We've been doing it, you know, as of today, about two weeks. Uh, I think our first video was 14 days ago. Yeah. We've got 137 subscribers. We had our 100 <laughs> subscriber celebration. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah. We're going to do it again awesome. at 250. So anybody who's watching this, please follow us. It's going to be great. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, but, yeah, let's check out the cart. Cool, Mike. Why don't you uh, take us around the cart? Show us a little bit about what you've what you've done and what's been added to it. Uh, that's gonna it's gonna get you all the way to Key West. Absolutely. So this is the 2007 Club Car DS. Um, it's a proven golf cart. It's got a ton of miles on it. It's got a ton of adventures behind it. We're gonna add a lot to it. Um, so far, we've gotten quite a bit ready um, before we make our big trip. Uh, you can check out the videos. But what we'll do is we'll walk you around it. Um, first off, we have a fully upgraded, I guess I'm going to call it the cockpit, right? We have a uh, fuel gauge and a speedometer put on here. Um, we got all of our switches and our stereo equipment here and everything to control the golf cart up front here uh, for the light bar, the headlights, bolt, ga bolt gauge, um, and like the full, uh, the full street legal light kit also on the golf cart. Um, to make shifting easy, we have the Jake's, uh, the Jake's Sport Shifter. And we have a Memphis sound bar mounted uh, tucked here underneath the seats, kind of out of the way. I don't like when the sound bars are up, and I definitely don't like cutting the speakers into the cart. So we did get a waterproof sound bar and made some custom brackets over here um, that kind of kind of give it a nice sturdy uh, sturdy mouth under the seat. So we will have some tunes while we're riding. We won't just be talking to each other the whole time. Joe's kind of boring to talk to for hours <laughs> and hours anyway. So um, we do have tunes. Um, I think not just Joe. I think anybody that would be difficult. <laughs> that's right. The cart is sitting on, which I know you like, Matt. These uh, these Mad Jacks 15-inch Flow Series rims. 
um, with the Nomad tires, the on-road, Absolutely. off-road tires. Yeah, those are great. Absolutely. I think they're the best. Honestly, I think they're the best wheel on the market right now. 100% they're definitely agree. the coolest look for them. And uh, they're, I think they're the biggest ones that are designed for a golf cart. Um, my first car had 15-inch wheels on it. So that's how big <laughs> these actually are, which is awesome. Uh, front of the golf cart over here. So this cart has the Jake's long travel uh, lift kit on it. And this is one of the original Jake's long travel kits. The one that was, you know, back 10 years ago when, when this cart was originally built, this was built with this. The only thing we upgraded were the, uh, the newer coilover shocks. Uh, we have the brush guard, the Jake's brush guard. We do have a, a tow ring on the front just to make it easy, just in case we're ready for that, uh, which is cool. Uh, this is the, this light kit is really cool. I'm going to turn this on for you. This is the, I think it's, made by a company called Nokin. Um, it's a, uh, it's probably one of the best light kits around. It's got a cool halo um, around the headlight. It's an LED light. It's got, uh, you know, high beams, low beams, and a really cool switch. Um, we also added these turn signal mirrors. They're very low profile, and we have them mounted low so that they're not kind of blocking the views and everything with our, with our cameras. Um, we like those also. And you know what's nice about having these mirrors is it has an indicator on the mirror side so when you forget to turn your blinker off it reminds you which is great i know we've all done that before. i've been in my house that is classified and my blinkers on yeah. right yeah. <laughs> that's classic sure we, mounted, we mounted a light bar a yellow light bar just in case we need to you know be seen at nighttime or even during the day on the bridge on those long open roads if there's a, a car way down we'll be able to just flash it one time turn so, that on quick just so that they know that there's um that there's a golf cart coming. Oh, uh, it's the, at nighttime. That's ridiculously bright. It's ridiculously I bet. Bright. <laughs> you can see it from a mile away easily. And we went, we got yellow instead of white because so many cars have white lights. The yellow will just be like, boom. Oh, what is that? And we want to be seen. Like, like I said before, safety first. All right. So let's go over here. Wait. We're going to come around to the back. Um, we have an upgraded steering wheel. This is um, it's a rock steering wheel. It's, it's similar to the Majax one. I got this before I think Majax started making that big, um, thick rubber rubber steering wheel. It's pretty much identical. Of course, we have that, uh, that fake carbon fiber dashboard that every DS has on it, which is nice because it gives you mounting points for accessories and also storage. Our fire extinguisher is inside the dashboard there, just in case. Okay, the back of the golf cart. This is really cool. This is a cargo caddy. This was designed specifically for flip seats and it could also be mounted on the roof. And I do want to give a shout out to Chris Stevenson. He hooked us up with this. He saw our videos. He's the owner and the designer and inventor of this device. This is, this is going to be a lifesaver for us because this is actually kind of like a, like a tub that straps on to the, uh, to the back seat. This thing is really well designed. It's super yeah, that's sturdy. Brilliant. It, yeah, it's super sturdy. It has two straps that run underneath with some nice um, some nice metal tie downs and two Velcro straps that, that link lock it to the, uh, to the seat bar here. And you could literally put this on any single golf cart. It's any, any flip seat, it fits on any. It takes yeah. a minute, literally it, a minute. You can put this thing on in under a minute, it's great. So we have these. Tell me the here. name of that again. This is called the, the, uh, the Cargo Caddy. It's called okay. the Cargo Caddy. Awesome. Yeah. You could get it at Camping World. For the, for the money and what, they're, what they're, they're charging for these things, it's, it's really, really nice. Super impressed with it. We actually have a video. It's probably in our video section by the time this video is posted. You can check it out. It's like kind of our install video and our review. So just want to give a shout out to them because they hooked us up with this thing. Um, back here, this is where we're going to be keeping our gear when we're traveling. And we do have these waterproof uh, Plano cases here. One's for our camera gear. One's for our safety and our toolkit. We're also going to be carrying two more with us uh, for our personal belongings. So we do have a change of clothes, extra pair of sneakers sunscreen like whatever we think we might need you know just just want to be prepared and this is nice because we don't have to worry about things sliding off the back or strapping them down too much back here is our pride and joy i think this is kind of what we've been spending the most time on was getting uh getting the back of this golf cart ready because this is where we're going to be carrying our cooler we got a red yeti 45 here um it's got plenty of room in it for ice and drinks and things we might need uh to keep cold on the trip we got red so that it's visible from the road. We wanted it to kind of act as like a larger, uh, larger low speed triangle. So you, 
you can't miss that. Um, we put this lighted whip on. I guess I should turn that on too, right? Absolutely, that's awesome. This is a lighted whip. Right now it's on red. That's what we'll be driving with because red is a legal color to have on the back of your vehicle on the road. Uh, just to give a little bit of extra, extra attention while we're driving. Right up here we have our official Heart Life orange safety flag. Not required by law, but we thought it was cool. <laughs> and maybe, uh, maybe it we get some cool. attention. People see the brand when we're driving, right? Um, down here, this is really cool. This is, um, we got the, we've, if you watched our video, which I know you did, Matt, we actually moved, made a license plate bracket for here um, because when the cooler is in place, you can't see the license plate where it's normally mounted on the golf cart. So we moved one down here. We have it with wing nuts so we could easily move the plate back and forth. Did a really nice job building this. Um, some custom custom aluminum spacers. It's extremely sturdy. Look, the whole the whole cart moves when when I uh, when I move that. And then under here we put um, some blinkers and some tail lights. What we did was we we built a um, like a trailer like a trailer uh, plug kit Let's see if I on the golf that. cart here where it uh, it's a seven pin. So we're able to get all the power to the trailer without um, without having to run wires to it. So we could easily plug and unplug this connector to and from the golf cart when we put the trailer on, which is also cool. nice. And obviously, I know you've all noticed it here now, we do have um, these 1.3 gallon gas cans. We got black, we wanted them to be kind of stealthy so it doesn't look like we're carrying gas, even though we are. Um, they each hold, uh, hold 1.3 gallons and it, it'll give us uh, like two and a half gallons or so and it'll give us enough gas to get about maybe 30 miles, we're thinking in case we need to and they're pretty cool they, they come right off the mountain like that they have the you know the spout inside them like any gas can would but they go on like this really sturdy and you just take the, the take the uh the lockable the lockable mount here and, and you screw it on real tight and uh they stay snug and i know you saw the newest video and we featured these in that video yeah so that's awesome. awesome so what are those what are they intended for what's the original intention these are for like RTVs and ATVs and off-road vehicles. That's why they're okay. black. Um, you know, most gas cans side by sides and side stuff. by side stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gas cans are red. They do say gasoline on them. They are approved for gasoline. All of that um, legal, you know, jargon is on here. Vapor sure. with an explosion, blah blah. It's all on here. These are are legal for gas. Um, so yeah, so that's the cart. You know, awesome. we got the under we got the underbody lights and we got a light under our dashboard and we got our seatbelt. Yeah. And we got our windshield and. That stupid windshield wiper that they make you take your hand off the steering wheel to use if you're going to use it. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> yes. You know, Brilliant. I think, we're, I think we're ready to pedal down and go, you know? Um, but what's your, your kind of timing? I know you said you're going to do this, this test trip, which I guess here is in the next few days. Yeah. Uh, and then I think you told us, told me offline that you've got maybe some personal travel and then, so you're looking at mid to late August or something. Is that kind of the plan? Yeah, I think mid to late August. We're going to see how uh, how this first trip goes and, you know, adjust the cart as needed. We don't know how it's going to behave with, you know, the additional weight of all the gasoline, the cooler filled with ice. But we're going to, when we travel, to, when we do our 50 mile trip to West Palm Beach, we're going to be going at like what we call driving weight. It's going to be fully loaded. We're going to have all our gear with us, everything, because we want to know how this golf cart is going to perform. What's braking right. gonna be like at that with that weight? I have no idea, you know, especially with all the weight on the back of the golf cart. You, you know, how's how we're gonna be with cameras and everything else. So, you know, we do have yeah. a lot to learn. And we're gonna use the 50 mile trip as kind of like a benchmark and learning learning experience and set a kind of like a learning curve um, for the next trip right. after that. Cool. Well, thanks guys. Really appreciate you taking the time and uh, look forward to seeing how the how the journey and the adventure takes you. We most certainly appreciate you, Matt. Thanks so much for the time and thinking about us. It's, it's going to be fun. Yeah, thank you so much.